Hi everyone, it's Karen here for Artist Live. Today is Monday, March 28th. Happy Easter for those of you who celebrate. And um, today I'm going to be making uh, an altered light bulb, glass light bulb that I turned. I used a lot of mixed media products to create it. And I'm just going to turn the camera so you can see the actual the actual project. So this is the project. Um, hold on, let me just make sure that I'm not tangled here. Okay, so, and I need to go a little bit further, further forward. Uh, this. Okay, so this is the project. It's an, this is a sideways project. It's, um, I really love this project. You know how much I love butterflies. I always say that. And this is just no exception. I I really tried really hard. I wanted to really create something where I could open and see the butterfly, something inside, a butterfly inside the light bulb, because this actually opens up. It's not a real light bulb. I'll show you what it is. I got this at Hobby Lobby. It's actually a jar. It's really cool and has a flat bottom. And um, it looks like a light bulb, but you can actually open it. Oh, hi, Anne Marie. You can actually open it. And I was really thinking, you know, I worked really hard. I thought, okay, I will, you know, I'll put something inside. And I was really excited about it, worked forever on it. And it just didn't work out. So I said, you know what, let's just alter it. And that's it. So easy peasy. The first thing I'm going to do is. Um, Oh, goodness gracious, hold on, I forgot something here. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this in with black gesso. But wait, I need to get one thing. Okay, so this is the other thing I got. This is a butterfly, a plastic butterfly that I got at the dollar store. It comes in a package. It's actually like these kind of stencils for the wall, they call them. And I thought, oh, I can use this. I use this usually as a stencil, but I thought, oh, that's a good idea to kind of make this the wings of the of the light bulb and kind of create the. Um, um, and now you can create, sorry, you can create this really cool light bulb with a butterfly wings. Actually, this is not a real light bulb. As I said, I don't know if you guys heard me. Uh, um, I did. It does stand up, but you could use a real light bulb. I mean, it's not a bit that I use this like thing at the bottom. Somebody was asking, how do I make it stand up? You could put the light bulb and glue it at the bottom of a bottle cap and then you're fine. So I'm just sorry, I forgot to get this one prep. And uh, hold on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this in, uh, in black. Sorry about this, I'm just trying to, should have done this before. If not, we'll just, I'll do it after. Okay, so this is the, um, this is a butterfly and this is the light. So first, I'm just giving it a quick prep in black, okay? It's just so I can, um, just so I can work on it, okay? As you can see, this is, I mean, it's not necessary, but I just want whatever I put on top to grip. I'm just going to take this off. Um, so I'm just looking to see if you have guys have any questions. Um, okay, no, it's fine. I can go on. So I've used real light bulbs for things before, but this gives this is really cool. I saw it at Hobby Lobby, and I thought, hmm, what a cool thing I could use. I don't know. I can alter it in some way, and I did just took me a while I bought it a while ago um, so just gonna paint the black but the butterfly in black it's not gonna stay black but I just want to and I want to make these exactly the same as the original one well almost exactly the same um, I don't want to change the colors or anything to it um, so because I don't want it to like I want people to like know what I'm doing, right? So it's nice. Um, and this is fun because you can alter this this plastic any way you want. 
it's just you can you know how you prime it with gesso it's just anything works for it I'm gonna put it aside do the other side soon and I think I'm gonna paint so I don't have to constantly clean my mat I think I'm gonna paint over uh, this yes okay let's paint the other side so I was trying really trying my best to see if I could like um, somehow do it a different way but it didn't work out and I saw, but this I think I really like this project and how it came out um, I love working with light bulbs I have used light bulbs if you see my youtube channel and I've actually didn't, done one on artist life too I've done light bulb art um, I saved all my light bulbs so if you want it's just fun to include them onto of onto the of your you know if you even if it's burnt or not or you're switching light bulbs to be more efficient which is what we are doing so that's how it goes okay there we go so now so now that's the one and then I'm going to oh this was not smart because I can have to can stand it up okay so that's one. So whatever then I'll just put it down and I'll just want to dry it up oh my goodness sorry I just realized I didn't plug in my dryer because of the class hmm. I'm not prepared where is my stuff Oh my goodness. I'm so silly today. You know what? I haven't, I had like so many things to do this weekend and I just haven't cleaned up. Oops. I didn't clean up from this weekend yet. That's why <laughs> everything is still up in the air. Okay. So let me just dry this a little bit. So yeah, my friends from my friend from Ecuador is trying to join in. Uh, I'll be teaching in her store and in my friend Vivian's store in Costa Rica this year again. And they're trying. I told them about the show 20 minutes ago, and she couldn't connect. Tomorrow I have uh, for those of you who speak Spanish, or if you do want to come tomorrow night, it's 10 p.m. Eastern time. So um, I guess it's 7 o'clock Pacific time at night. I'm doing it on my channel. I'm going to be having a show on jelly printing in Spanish. Um, if any of you do come tomorrow night, then feel free and I will translate. Oh my God, this is not working. One minute. Something is not... I want to hold on to this. So if any of you want to come tomorrow, you're more than welcome to come. Just And I will just translate from Spanish to English. For those of you who need it unless you speak Spanish I'm gonna do just simple jelly printing just to show people how to do it um, so so that's the basically so okay so let me just um, try this up again I see some questions Petra I'm looking to see what you're asking um, Um, yes, yeah, so uh, Petra is asking if there's different types of heavy gesso, uh, black gesso. Yes, there is different. It's uh, just the consistency of the gesso. There is heavy and there is uh, a little bit like, you know, probably lighter. This is a heavy gesso. The same as the white one that comes in different consistency. So does the, so does the, so does the black. So the answer is yes for those of you who want to know. I'm going to just give it an extra little cover. And it doesn't have to be exact. It, it's kind of a distressed butterfly, so you don't have to um, worry about uh, it looking too perfect. I agree, Anne Marie. It's so nice that there's people from all over the world, and um, it just makes it even more special that way. Um, 
Okay, so let me just give a little extra coat to, coat to the other side and then this butterfly will be ready to go. And today I'm going to be using the rust paste from Prima, the Fina Bear rust paste. It comes in a package of three different colors and um, comes in the red rust, the brown rust and the yellow or gold rust. Let me see. It's called... Oh, there's one just all gold rust. Yeah, so there's three different colors and I'm going to be using a couple of them today. I will show you. Okay, I'm going to put the butterfly to dry. And one minute. Okay. I'm going to just dry this so I can work on it. Okay. The nice thing about the gesso is that it dries really quickly. Okay. And one minute, or maybe I should move my nice artwork so it doesn't get ruined. It dries really quickly, which is really nice for when you create this. Oh, uh, yeah, Rika should put the link for the rust paste very soon. As soon as I start using it, I want to show them to you. Just give me a minute. So this is dry, and then I can show you the rust paste, okay? Let me clean my area. Um, I should have not done this. I said I was going to do it on the, on the wipe, and then I didn't. Okay, just one second. Let me put this aside and let me close this. Okay. So now, yeah, so I want to talk about the rust paste in a minute. Okay. So here's the rust paste. I'm going to show you. It comes in a box of three it comes in this nice little box okay um, the number is 963576 is from Prima and it comes as I said in the three colors the gold the red and the brown and I'm going to open them so you guys can see the three of them this is the brown and you can see it's a very gritty kind of consistency very earthy and it's a little bit I'll show you the red, which is my favorite. It's the one we're going to use. Oops. Let me just try. It. There we go. You see the rustiness of it? It makes it really good. And then um, here is the gold version. You can see in the lid, it's kind of, I'm trying to get to the right angle. For, okay. So the lid. And this is the yellow color. Okay. So we're going to use the red one and the yellow today. And I'm going to kind of mix it together. Just let me dry this a little bit longer. Yeah, so I ordered this rust paste. Um, and I really, really like it. It's an awesome paste. Mm-hmm have some thicker areas here that I wanted to dry faster and it's never going to dry the way I'm doing it so just give me a minute <laughs> so the rust powders you mean the ones from Frank's okay so it's a little bit different this is an actual paste it's very gritty it's very textured and it's really cool to use. All right, so here we go. Oops, I'm now more dry. Okay, so I'm gonna use the red one and I literally actually covered the whole thing with the red paste. 
I can't remember if I used my paintbrush or my or the or my actual finger, but it works well with the paintbrush. And what I'm doing is I want to even get closer. Oh, hold on, it's really hot. It's actually just creating texture on it. It will dry texturized anyways, but just want to show you what I'm doing. I'm kind of patting it because not only will it be gritty, but it will also create extra texture. As you can see, my husband also fixed my my camera and my table. So it's not giving me any issues anymore in terms of like shakiness, which I'm really happy about. So look at the amazing texture it creates. It really is cool. It's like a gritty, sandy kind of texture. And I mean, this is more like to create highlights of rust, but I just wanted to make the whole bottle rusty. So I am just did it all around. You don't have to do this. You can just use it in some areas. I've used it where I've put it on certain things, metals or like, um, other embellishments to make to make it like look like rust on top of the um, how do you call this on top of the embellishment but in this situation um hold on i want to kind of put my finger in here in this situation i just really wanted it to become all around rustic and some areas have more some areas have less some it's mixed in like with the black which is really nice because it gives it even a little bit more of a rustic look and again I mean I am leaving some of the areas a little bit black and that still looks really cool that's why it has the black underneath so um, um, I'm trying to see if anybody else is asking any questions but okay in the meantime I'll just continue I love this rust paste and I'm just going to paint the bottom a little bit so this is fun um, I know there's so many things we want and buy and stuff like that so I mean you should just make a list of priorities because this is a really good one but there's so many good ones and, and I hate being the enabler of things but it's just really really like um, prioritizing what you should buy and what not you know let me just try and see I'm standing up this way oh, oops, oops, oops. See, it's not holding off on to me that well but I want to be able to so yeah I mean I'm doing the sides but I'm not showing you what I'm doing but it's the same technique let me just finish the side so I can do the butterfly next okay it's hard to do these type of live shows when I have um, okay so I'm gonna put this to dry yeah the live show is hard with this because it's um it's a 3d thing that I have to move around and it doesn't always go where I want it to okay so there we go now what I did is I used the gold rust the rice the rust paste the gold one for the wings and one second and I'm gonna do that one now next okay let's bring back the bring this back okay and I'm gonna get another paintbrush a minute. okay there we go and I'm gonna show you the rust the gold rust because I really like it here we go somehow a little bit more liquidy than the other one it depends on how much you've used it so again I'm just going to this one is I need to kind of mix a little bit more the rest is kind of probably at the bottom of it mm -hmm. so this I'm actually the same I'm not covering all of it 
I want, oh sorry, I'm off frame. Um, I'm not want to cover, I don't want to cover the whole thing because I want to kind of make it, make so you can see the black underneath because that's kind of like how real rust looks like. So I'm trying to kind of go in some areas and some areas just leave them with them with a little bit of black behind. And um, I'm just patting the brush. It gives it a really nice texture. The color is really cool. I'm going to dry this so I can do the other side. Yes, you're right. So a stencil with, with gritting or stones would look really good with this. And I'll show you the texture in a second, how cool it looks. Okay, so let me show you the rust effect. You see, it's like really rustic, especially in these areas, depending on how much paste you put. I'm gonna do the other side because the butterfly can be seen from the back too. I actually didn't show you the back. This is the back of the butterfly. Oops, sorry. So you see it has the rust effect in the back too. So I want to be able to put some of this in the back and let it dry. Um, so I'm trying not to chat too much with you guys, not because I don't love you, it's because I get comments sometimes on the YouTube ones that people people um, get a, get um, confused because the recording doesn't make sense to them when I'm talking to somebody who's not there. So I'm just chatting a little bit, although people should know that this was a recording from a live show. And uh, shouldn't get upset about these type of things, but can help it. Although I shouldn't pay attention to what people say. Some people leave me some comments that don't make sense. Okay, so this is the other one. So let me just dry this a little bit. And I also want to dry the actual light bulb. I mean, that's even more important to dry this light bulb. So while I'm, dry, while I'm drying, I'm going to clean this up. And I like it that their paste dries quite quickly, which is really nice, especially if it's thinner. And that's really good for mixed media because we don't like it when it's taking too long to dry. Oh, hi, Susan. So there we go. Okay. I'm clean now. So just a minute. I'm going to bring this back. I'm going to dry it from the back too. Petra is asking if the magic powder from 13 Arts is similar to the to the texture powder from Finabera. Yes, the thin one, the thin one is very similar. The um, the very fine uh, texture powder from Finabera is very closely similar to the 13 Arts. So what it does, it does create a kind of a paste to anything you want, if it's an acrylic paint or a gel. I mean, the color and texture is a little bit different, but it's very similar. Okay, I want to show you now this. You see, look, it's already dry, and it looks as if this came from, how do you call this, the bottom of, what do we call this? I'm thinking of a clay pot. This is what it reminds me of, clay. And it's as if it came from the bottom of the earth, you know, from many millions of years ago. Okay, I'm going to seal this. 
And now I have a few things that I'm going to add to it. Okay, so one of them is um, I'm going to glue these. These are the Mechanicals bottle cap flowers. I mean, I think you know these. I'll tell you the number of it, just so you know. It's a 961091 from Finabear, Prima Finabear. And I'm going to be using heavy gel, which is a fave now for gluing things. So I'm going to be using this one to glue things onto it. Okay. So. Here we go. I'm getting just a spatula. Okay. I forgot. I didn't have to do the bottom. I forget I was gluing this on this. But it's still nice to have this. So I'm just putting a nice amount. It's more as to kind of put over the edges. So then it will stay on this. There we go. Now we have the base. I just realized I missed some spots here. I can always go and touch them up. And the next thing I'm going, the next thing I did, okay, now that it's dry, and I added a little, the, the inside of the clock. Okay, so let me just this. This is um, 960285. It's, um, oopsie. Hold on one second, it's stuck. I love these clocks. I've always loved them. One of my favorite metal items from Prima, from Finnebear. Really nice. And you see how it's silver? So we're going to put some gold uh, rust on it after. Let me just first glue it on because it takes a while for things to dry. And then we can always add some more accents to it. So I like what I like about the heavy gel is that it's really makes things stay put um, it's really nice it's, the, it's one of the good things about it now because before we used to have to have to hold it or use glue gun and now you don't have to do that anymore so I'm going to kind of glue it over here and I know it looks weird but it's because I have so many things here I want to use a little paintbrush to kind of play around with the glue because it doesn't look so nice when it's like that but you want it to stick right so can you guys see what I'm doing yeah okay And I'm just putting some glue in the inside of the circle. I want to make sure that everything sticks. Okay, the nice thing about this is that it dries transparent and it just looks like texture on top after. Okay, so there you go. Oops, there we go. And then, I know it doesn't look so pretty, but it will later. Um, then what I did, hold on, let's put this here so it doesn't roll. Um, I use some of these. Um, these are the, the vintage trinkets 960391. They're bottle caps. And I use the two. I use these. Hold on, one more thing. And I use this flower. This is those are these are the roses. And um, hold on, I want to use yeah, a couple of these flowers. These are also vintage trinkets. These are old, but they're 960339. And you can use anything really. Um, so I put this one in here so it holds it. Hold on. Oops, not wrong one. Wrong way. So I put the flower in. Just like to layer it. And then this one goes inside. And the reason why I put a lot, I know I know it wastes, but you know what? The more it has, the the more put it, the, it will stay put where you want it to be. 
Now for this one, um, I did, uh, oh yeah, for this one, for this one I did a little flower here. And uh, I'm going to do, hold on, can you see what I'm doing? Yeah, okay. Okay. So this is the, oops, this is the one flower, and then I use these butterflies. These are new mechanicals. They're called grungy butterflies, and I really love them. And they come a bunch of them. I always thought there was only one in each, but there's actually more than one. There's this one, and then there is, should be a smaller one. Hold on. Can you use it somewhere? Well, we'll have to use this the, the bigger version of this okay so again I'm going to glue this butterfly inside this as much as I can this is actually now not fitting because I used a smaller butterfly but that works okay so now another thing is I'm going to this is the outside of the butterfly yeah so I'm going to glue, hold on, let me move this. I'm going to move, glue this butterfly into here. Because I added this other butterfly here. Yeah, somehow this project is going really quickly. And um, So this is the back, basically, of the butterfly. Um, and I just want to kind of push the glue into it so it stays nice and put. OK, there we go. So this is the back. I just want to now glue these two embellishments. And hold on. So the other embellishment I'm going to be putting is, oops, no, that's not what I want, I want to gel, um, over here. And the last one, this little flower over here. So that's basically the... That's basically the, the um, oh, I have an idea. How about I lean it on this? OK, there we go. I know I have to kind of prop it up. Um, the last thing I did is, not last thing, the last metal that I did I used is I used these words. They're mechanicals also. It's called, uh, it's, the, the number is 961121 comes with art, lucky, journey. So I use the word journey. And this is, it's like a metal plate. And I kind of like bent it a little bit, kind of shaped it so it can go around, around, sorry, um, around the butterfly, around the, the light bulb. Let me see a little bit more. Mm -hmm. No, I'm going to need the edges a bit more. Okay. There we go. Yeah. So just a little bit, a little bit more and that's it. Okay. And then I'm going to put some gel on this too. Perfect. And then you can see that it says journey on it. Okay, so that's basically this part. Now another thing that I did is I really wanted to add some um, extra highlights to it. So I used 
some alcohol inks to kind of um, give it a little bit of extra golden colors and also the rust paste oops it's moving okay we need to kind of prop it up on both sides so let me use the other rust paste to kind of prop this one here and this one here okay so I'm using it with my fingers and just kind of dabbing it in some areas and you can see how it's giving it like a rusty color that kind of matches um, matches the light bulb at the top the golden light bulb at the top and same with the butterfly carefully I want to carefully give it some rust color here okay and I also just kind of ran my finger on it and added some some of the rust color oops on the the only sucky thing with the gel is that it takes a long time to dry but other than that it's good so I'm going to add a little bit more and then I'm going to also add oops you don't keep on saying oops just because it's moving and I don't want it to okay I'm going to add some of the gold and um, I think it's too much too much too much too much I don't like it I put too much so I have to kind of fix it let's fix it with the rust color anyways we were going to add some more rust so we can just fix this is what I love about mixed media you can just fix anything if something goes wrong you can just add more stuff and it just turns it back into how you liked it um, so I think I'm going to lift this up a little bit I apologize you might not be able to see it that well but I really need to um, kind of add some highlights oops again um, can you see it's like I'm just adding some golden highlights and the other thing I did wait is that I added some this is alcohol inks called stream and I added some of this too wait one second I want to lift this up so I added some of this actually on the bottle cap and oh no sorry on the lamp and it kind of gave it a you know like kind of like patina kind of look okay oh the butterfly just went kaboom all right put the butterfly back on and I think I'm gonna use some of the other um, I really like the um, oh I just realized I made a mistake there's two more butterflies on this okay I will add another one I just didn't realize that um, I'm gonna add some of this Adirondack I mean this same alcohol inks I want to add some more of a rustic kind of color this is called caramel and it's just it just gives it a really cool color onto the metals I don't know if you can see I think you can see from there this is more for coloring the metals and uh, okay there we go so you see kind of give it a a rustic color to the metal at the top now I realized that I just I think I lost a butterfly because I should have had an extra one here and somehow there isn't one and that's why I'm missing I don't know where it went so the, because this large butterfly is supposed to go up here and not down there so what we're gonna do is where the, where the butterfly is supposed to go here like that and then I will just have to like put a different a bit different because if you see here what I did is there was a butterfly there and there was a little butterfly on the side but somehow I lost a little butterfly so I'm gonna have to maybe replace it with something else how about we replace it with another flower 
let's see, unless there's another mini butterfly that I'm... Okay, so we'll have to replace it with another flower. And I'm just going to use this, oops, the silver one. Oh, it's too big. I don't know if I like it. How about we use a smaller flower? Ah, here. This one is a good one. There we go. I'll use this and I'll just rust it. So what I can do is I can use the alcohol inks because this, this one is silver. I can just use the alcohol inks to rust this silver like flower. And that works really well. Okay, hold on. Just bending it up a little bit. Okay, so then you, all you have to do is use this caramel looking alcohol ink. I'll show it to you in a second how it turned out. Okay, so you see it was oops, it was sil it was silver and now it's not. And I'm going to add some yellow rusting color. And I can even add a little bit of the red one. And then there's just and it just turns it um, rustic again. So you can use, this is what I meant, that you can do just highlights of it. And it turns out really well. Okay. So I guess I only have two butterflies on this and that's okay. And the last thing, so this is the front. I think I actually added some gold in the middle to make it, to lighten it up. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit more I think when you look at it in the camera, so you see the rusted flower. There it is. You can see it really well. It looks really good. The last thing I want to do is I want to flip it carefully, and I want to just kind of clean the glue a little bit because it looks ugly when it's like that, even though it won't show most of it. Um, and I can use it for this one. So I'm going to put, let me just move everything so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to glue the wings onto it. Okay. Making sure, oops, now the flower. Now. Okay, I'm going to have to stand it up, okay? Because right now everything is wanting to fall. Okay. How did I make this? I think I need I need more. So in order for things to kind of stay together, I find that I have to use a lot of the gel medium, the heavy gel, on one spot. It kind of sticks this especially I mean this is not heavy, but it's just like a bulky in nature. Okay, there we go. And there it is. Oh, yay. Okay. And I just want to add some rust. Sorry. So there is the, there is the just the, the way I glued it on. And I forgot I wanted to add some rust to the wings, some red rust. So I'm doing that now. Oops. I'll show you. It's just very hard to maneuver this piece. some rest. So basically you can rest everything <laughs> and it looks great. So this is the back just making sure that it's even in the front and then this is the front and I do have it does have a lot of, oh you see this is this whole thing is falling off because it's not holding. Ah. It's just, it will have to take. So what happens is that this type of, this glue, see it's falling off from all that. I should avoid doing these type of projects. I forget that these don't glue right away and it's very hard to keep them together. Okay, let me put my finger there so I can show you the front. So, so this is the project. I just wanna clean some of the areas because it looks really bad with all the glue there. I just kind of want to. <clears throat> so 
Can you guys see? Yeah, now you guys can see. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to get this from out of here. Okay, there we go. There we go. So I know it looks white, but when it dries, it won't look like that anymore. It will look like this. And this is the final, I mean, I, I think I added much more rusting into the top. Oh, I realized I see how the, there's rust on these little wings. I need to put some red rust on these rings too, to make them rusted on both sides. Let's see. So I'm just using my finger. And then there you go. And I think I'm, I added a little bit of blue onto some of the areas to make it more like a patina effect. So I'm going to add some here and here. There. No. Okay, there we go. So now you see, let me try to put some more light on this. Oh, there it is. You see? I mean, don't look at the white parts. The white parts are the ugly parts. And this will like dry up to look to look like the other one. But right now, um, it needs a lot of glue in order for it to stay. But you don't notice. You won't see the glue after. It just dries up like this. Okay. So this is it for today. Um, I am actually on next week again just worry the way the work the schedule worked out and I um, have a really cool another cool project for you guys um, let me close the turn this off and then I will show you the project for next week just the ones that are here get to see it again so that's why one minute okay let me just put this so let me just turn you around and there we go uh, thank you so much for joining us on Artist Live. I really appreciate you guys coming every Monday and seeing us on the show. Um, so see you next week. Bye.